What is up everybody, this is Hunt Modding back at you with a modding tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to take a bed off of one truck and put it on another MGE only, no coding, no work needed. Now this is the 2017 F250, uh, the squad truck, as many of you probably know it as. I've done a little bit of work to it, as you can see the bed's a little longer than normal. Um, I was just messing around with it and um, I did a little bit of work and I was like, you know what, I want to put a flat bed on it. And I did need it to be a little bit of a longer bed to do so um, because it was a short bed at first. So if you see a few things that are missing, that would be why. Let me put this back in place. Make it look like I haven't completely tore the truck apart yet. Um, Sorry. Anyway, so you guys are here to see how to take one bed off of one truck, which is going to be the Chevy K30. Uh, it's going to be this one. We're going to take not this bed, but this bed. We're going to put this Bradford bed right here on this truck with no modding or well we're going to be modding but no xml work unless you want lights then of course you have to go on the xml but other than that no xml work no nothing this is it bare bones this is all you have to do it is the most simple thing you can think of you don't have to go into material editing custom shader editing nothing this is literally just you put the bed on and you play that's it with a few minor adjustments, nothing out of GE, nothing over here in material editing. We don't need any of that. All we need is attributes and stenograph. So, first thing you're going to do, you're going to come in the mod you want the bed on. You need to clean it up. What I mean by clean it up is, you want to find your bed. And you're going to want to hide it. Now once you hide your bed, so you're going to find it. Now listen, some mods are just like this. They're connected and you cannot take the bed off without Blender. Some of them you click body and the bed's attached. Now luckily these ones are not like that, so don't worry about it. You're going to take your bed and do not, I repeat, do not delete the bed don't do it. You're going to go over here, you're going to click visibility, you're going to hide the bed. Do not delete, do not move. Leave it right there because you do not want to mess up any of these index paths or your coding will be messed up and you will have to go in the XML. So you're going to want to find your lights, you're going to want to make them disappear. You're going to want to find your bumpers, you're going to want to make them disappear. The only thing that I leave on mine is a license plate and the hitch. That is it. That's all you want to leave. That is it. Nothing else. Just that. Now, attachers. Hang on attachers I want to move this back out here with it and I want to move my hitch lock out here with it now everything else should already be moved okay now what you're going to want to do you want to go to your other mod that you want the bed off of this is important this is how you get away without having to do any of the material editing or any of that you're going to click file up here in the top left corner. You're going to select your bed. You're going to click file. You're going to go export selection with files. You're going to click that. Now you're going to find the one you want to put it in. And you're going to want to click it. Mine's right here. Now I already have the Bradford bed in mind, but what you're going to do is you would come in here. You would name it whatever it is. 
this works on wheels and everything. You're gonna whatever it is, and you're gonna install it, and you're gonna do that, and you're done. That's all you gotta do. In here, you're done with that mod. Now you're gonna go into the mod you want that you just put your bed into. You're gonna go over here and you're gonna click import mod or just import. You're gonna find the mod in your desktop that you want, and you're gonna find your bed. Mine's right here. Now what you're gonna do now is once you have your bed in there you're gonna select your bed control X now what that's gonna do is take it away now you're gonna go up here to the now listen a lot of people wanna click right here and put it in here with this stuff don't do it you wanna put it up here at the very first thing you open that hides everything whatever hides every idea you wanna do that now you're gonna go up here click it and click control V it's gonna bring your bed back but it's gonna put it at the bottom so it doesn't have any changes in these index paths. All of these original index paths are all the same. You want to make sure these are all the same. Do not change them. Now, you're literally all that's left to do is just to put your ma or put your bed where you want it at. I'm gonna shorten mine up a little bit. Lower it down now. You're going to put your thing where you want it, right there about where I want mine. Now, that's all you do. You're done. Now, here's the, here's a catch. So, me, I already took care of my connections down here. But up here, this one's going to be the main one you have to focus on. You go to Attachers, right here. You're going to find your gooseneck hitch, which is in this truck, it's hitch 3. You're going to go inside it. You're going to find the attaching joint. What you're going to do there is you're going to move the attacher joint to the ball that you're working on. If you do not move it to the hitch you're working on, then it's not going to be in the right spot. So once you find the attaching joint, you find your goose neck or sometimes it will say fifth wheel semi hitch, something like that. And then you, once you adjust it, you're done. Now, here's an important part. Anytime I work on a mod, I take it to my home screen right here with the original file folder right here. Put it on there and open it with Giants Editor through here. Never try to mod through these save folders. It never works out very well for me at least. Now, I'm going to press save and I'm going to press publish. Now once you press publish, it's going to pop this up. If you want to change anything, you can. I'm just going to leave it the same. Now you're going to find your desktop and you're going to find your zipped folder, your original zipped folder. Mine's right here. I'm going to click it. Click save. Now, it's going to say already exists. Do you want to replace it? You're going to click yes. And it's going to pack it up back in there. So everything you just did is now saved in there and it's putting it back in the original folder. Now make sure you put it in the original folder. Now you're going to X out and you're going to save. Now all you have to do is take the mod, put it back in your mods. Make sure you give me one second. Let me pull up my other screen. It's going to be black for a second. But you do that. Okay, now you go into your game. Once you're in your game, all you've got to do is career, find a map that you want, and enter it. Make sure your mod's selected, obviously. Now into your map, and once your map loads, you're going to click, you're going to go buy your car, your truck, whatever it is you modded. You're going to go look at it and see how it is. Now make sure that you do it like that for like anything that you know pops up colorful or whatever that's not the right way make sure that you click the um, now if you look here it's exactly the same textures as it was before it's perfectly the same textures and I didn't have to do any modifications to the truck or nothing all I did was hide one bed and place another and now I mean I can do literally anything I want to do I can do it 
I don't know why those tires are up there, but they are. Um, and it doesn't change anything. You know, I mean, all the options are still the same. Everything works the same as it used to. And everything, that's the main thing. Everything is working now. Now here it is. Here's the mod that we just created. Now we're going to move this blue one. This was a test I did earlier. Um, I don't even know why it's here, honestly. But Now you're going to get in your mod that you just did. And you're going to, I always get in it and I test my gooseneck hitch. Now I didn't show you guys the collisions. You're going to want to make the collisions, whatever you're, whatever it is. Now, that's it. You know, as you can see, you've got the hitch. Now that does not have anything to do with lighting. I did not show you guys the lighting, but this is how you get the bed on there. Now, if you want more videos, and if you want to see how to add lights and code the lights on, smash that like button, comment that you want to see that, and I'll also show you a trick to fill in all this down here and make this look better. But that is the basics of how you get a truck bed switched, and I mean it's on there, it's good, it's not going nowhere, and it looks good because it's right. So, I mean, that's how you want to do it nothing's wrong with the textures nothing wrong with the colors everything looks just like it should all because of how you import it always remember it's all because of how you import it into your new mod so hope you guys enjoyed if you did smash that like button comment on something else you guys want to learn and if I know it I will make a video on it if I don't know it, I will learn it and then make a video on it so smash the like button subscribe hit that notification bell so you can see when another one of these uh, modding videos come up and i will see you all in the next one thanks guys